special because we got them to wink, which is really exciting. Ooh. Yes! Ah! <laughs> oh no. Okay. Sometimes if you blink really fast, like that, it won't catch it or it gets like kind of stuck. But if you're more or less very intentional with your blinks, yeah. it works pretty good. Oh, it feels good to finally have these working. Um, so I definitely have uh, the software, I would say about 98% figured out as far as the code. Um, there's still a little bit of refining the, the blinks and the triggers. To, to get it as smooth as possible, but I mean, we're the the main structure of the code is there. Alan Tech has been working on it and has been helping so much. So, thanks, Chris. Could not do this without you. Um, some things that uh, I didn't foresee. Uh, let me show you real quick. So, if we take a look at the benchy bench, um, we're gonna turn these servos off because they're a little bit noisy. Um, it's a 1.5 mega ohm resistor. Whoop, you can't see that. And there she is. That is a brown, green, green that I'm using. Uh, basically, I was trying to use like a 10 kilo ohm or 330 uh, ohm resistor or whatever. And that, that was working. But this larger 1.5 mega ohm gives me more of a, a resolution in the light whenever I'm blinking and my eyes are moving past these. So this was kind of a, a big thing that helped the goggles work. Also, you can see here that it is still plugged into an Arduino Uno. Um, we had tried to, to, you know, use this sweet little DigiSpark and tried very diligently to make it work. Um, you can see here, this is an example of the code that we're running now, and it uses a servo library. Now, that servo library can be, um, it can move the servos very quickly without much delay. Now, let's see here, let's scroll this way, and now, this was the code that needed that was being used on the uh, DigiSpark because it could not use the normal server library. So there is this thing called a soft, what was that? RC Pulse one, whatever. There's a, another library that's kind of janky that you can use to move the servos and it works, but whenever you start trying to like blink and send uh, commands very quickly, it just like freaks out and it jams up the Arduino and it did not work smoothly. So. Um, the DigiSparks are now out of the running, and we're looking at these, I think these are Pro Micros, and these can run the code, no problem. These can use the actual servo library. So we will be using these uh, Pro Micros from now on. Uh, we'll be moving the code over from the Uno, Uno to the Pro Micro, and that should work. But we had a lot of tricky, sticky stuff with the code not working properly because of the uh, soft serial or the soft RC, whatever, Pulse library uh, being finicky. Okay, so uh, these are the goggle frames. Y'all saw me print these. Um, I am going to make some more design changes. Surprise, I know, right? Um, so this is cool though, because the uh, width is about the same. And with foam going over that, that'll be pretty sweet because I can almost like cut a hole in the foam and just plug right into it. And then we can change anything to the, the code if we need to, which is, that worked out pretty well. Um, and there's space above so we can put header pins. So like that all works out pretty well. Um, I am going to, you can see the, the permanent marker here. I'm going to cut out another little, uh, chunk of material there. And that is going to be where I'm going to put a, a step up converter because I've been thinking about how to power this and I didn't really have a good way to get five volts because the, uh, the Arduinos themselves can't supply enough current to power the servos. So we're going to go ahead and just throw in a... 1S LiPo, uh, 3.7 volts, but it can supply tons of current. And I just ordered off, I think, eBay, so this can take longer than Amazon Prime, but it's like a tiny little uh, step-up voltage uh, butt converter, and it'll go from two volts, and this is 3.7, so this is within that, all the way to five. And so I'll put that here, and then I'm gonna put the battery kind of, not there, uh, <laughs> scratch that, I think in the side. So I'm gonna probably cut that out and just like have it like, tuck in like that um, into this space over here. And so that way it'll be powered and then we'll have Arduino and then servos and then we'll do the light sensors and now we've got space to do that. 
Um, yeah, so that's gonna be cool. Um, oh, 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 last thing. Probably not the last thing. Uh, to power it, I'm just gonna be using a little latching switch. So I'll probably have that mounted next to the battery. And again, I think I'm gonna try to tuck it underneath the foam. And so you can just like press on the goggles and where the foam is will flex and you'll press in the switch. I don't know, that might be a terrible idea, but it sounds good now. We'll see how that works out in the future. Um, so then also these LED sensors, I made a video. I think the box will be like here whenever I create it uh, that you can click on to watch how to make these guys. They're super simple. Um, but uh, so I wanted to make it so everything was just like drop in. Like there was no guesswork. There was no, hey, you know, the angle of this thing doesn't work right, blah, blah, blah. So uh, I was going to do like a custom design kind of brace mount for these sensors. But not everyone's eyes the same. Like my eyes are like super close together. Some people's are wider. Uh, and so the geometry of people's faces isn't the same. So what I'm thinking is I'll leave this where you can hot glue the sensor bundle and then the wires to the sensor uh, are fairly rigid. They're like, you know, they're the legs of LED. So you can bend them and they'll stay in place. So that way it'll allow you to bend these sensors at the right angle to, to get the right reflection off your eye. Because if I make these and they work for my face, they're probably not gonna work for everyone else's face. And as much as I like nice, you know, designs that are all tucked away and everything has its place and looks nice and finished, I think that leaving these open for being able to flex and bend them is going to be a better solution for like everyone in general. Um, so that's the plan for those sensors is they'll probably, I mean, the wires obviously will be tucked in and look nice, but the sensors will probably be hot glued and then the wires will just bend to match our face. Um, yeah, so I think, I think that's it for now. Um, this past weekend I did some vacuum forming. I'll put another tag up, is it? I think it's there, that direction, yes. And you can check that out, it's just a real quick video. But uh, dude, look, like that is a 3D printed frame that I vacuum formed. Oh my gosh, I have a solo plate, a plastic solo plate. Anyways, I'm gonna make another live stream, I'll explain to you how to make one, they're super easy to make. I've always wanted to make one and I've like thought that they would just be like, yeah, too difficult. They're, they're not hard, everyone should make one. It's awesome. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed the update on the goggles. Um, I think we've got a couple comments. Let's see here real quick. Um, uh, how is the sensor working at the moment? Or Magnus Andre asks, how is the sensor working at the moment? Is the reflection or the lack of reflection that triggers the closing? Is it the eye or the eyelid that are detecting? Okay. Magnus, um, real quick, the, and you probably already know this, so sorry, I'm just gonna roll through it real quick. The LED, uh, the red thing right there, is putting a bright light, like, right, and that's kind of why I need it to be flexible, because you need to position it just right. So, I guess if I look this way, you can see the whites of my eyes. So the white light is illuminating the white of my eye, and then the sensor is between that LED and my eye, so the, I've tried this too, so ambient light, when I'm looking around at my lights and stuff, it doesn't freak out like I thought it would. And I think that's because I've taped the, the photo sensor. So it only sees like a very specific direction and that's just the white of my eye. So unless you shine like a flashlight into my eyes, it doesn't really care about environment light, which is sweet. Um, but yeah, so this uh, photo resistor guy right here is pointing right at the whites of my eyes. And so when I blink, the reflectivity of the LED goes down. And so I'm measuring a difference in reflected light on the Arduino and basically we're just looking at a, a positive or negative difference and then that's kind of the, the the variable that we're controlling as far as we're taking a, a measurement and we're waiting a period of time and taking another measurement and we're looking at the difference in the two measurements as far as reflected light and then if that difference is within the threshold that we set it triggers a blink open or blink close. Um, so hopefully that answers your question. I mean I think you have you're you're on track with what your question was um, it's just kind of the, the details of getting the, the sensor angled right, and then it is reflecting actually like off the white part of my eye. So, um, yeah. Uh, another question from Cadmandu2000. The switch you mentioned earlier will turn the power uh, to the servos off when not pressed against your head. Is it correct? Okay, so no, this is just like a super simple latching switch. See what, when I press it, it stays down. When I press it, it stays up. 
and that's just going to cut power from the battery to the Arduino. So that'll kill the entire thing. Um, that way you can wear goggles and if you want to, you can turn them on or you can turn them off and just like open the irises and walk around. Um, that way you're just not draining the battery or if you want to wear them, but you don't want them constantly like making noise and stuff, you can turn them off. Um, I just think it's, it's logical to put a switch to turn everything off and on, on board. Yeah. So that's okay. I think that's it. Um, all right. Thanks for watching and I will see you all next time.